Hey guys, more math videos. Math, yay! Okay, wait. So today I will be discussing the last item of the twenty-second Philippine Mathematical Olympiad qualifying stage. So yeah, here part three, short answers. So yeah, number thirty, and here's the problem statement. Find the minimum value of this fraction thing. If x and y are positive real numbers such that x greater than y. So, yeah. Well, I was at the contest, my first thought was like, because it said positive real numbers, chances are AMGM will be involved. Makes sense, right? AMGM, inequality that involves only positive numbers. So, yeah. And then, but then the thing is, x greater than y. So, like, because the equality case in AMGM needs to hold for the minimum value to be attainable. But then what if like your equality case becomes x equals y when you do AMGM? That means you can't have equality. So like the x greater than y con that's why the x greater than y condition's annoying because that means that x and y aren't exactly independent. So here's how I fix this. Yeah, so here's how I fix this. Oh wait, I forgot to copy the fraction. Okay, yeah. So, 7x squared minus 2xy plus 3y squared all over x squared minus y squared. Boom. That's a 2. My handwriting's horrible. Yeah, and then we have x greater than y, x, y are positive reals. Yay. Okay, so now the way that the way when I was at the contest, the way I fixed this condition was like, so we can let x minus y be a variable of its own. x minus y equals k. Now, since x is greater than y, we must have that x minus y equals k is also a positive real. And that's nice. So we have x equals y plus k. Now we can plug this thing back in here and then it'll become in terms of y and k which are like independent reals so like it'll be easier to handle with there's no x great blah greater than blah condition so yeah so so it'll become 7 times y plus k squared minus 2 times y plus k times y plus 3y squared all over I don't have my left hand to hold the paper down y plus k squared minus y squared. Now this part is just a matter of simple expanding. Uh, hold on, I'll just quickly do this. Have more music, yes. I probably should have done this part before, but yeah. Okay, so the numerator becomes 5y squared plus 12yk hmm. Oh, joke, joke. There's still that other one. Becomes 8y squared Yeah, 8y squared plus 12yk plus 7k squared all over the quantity 2yk plus k squared. Does this look like what I got last time? Yeah, it looks yeah, it looks like what I got that time. Okay, wait. I need more scratch now. I'm running out of scratch space. Yes, there. Okay, so yeah, when you expand that, it should become like that. Assuming I didn't get any careless mistakes, I get careless really often. It's really bad but yeah okay so now we have this thing so you know how amgm looks like a squared plus b squared greater than or equal to 2ab it looks kind of like that right so i first wanted to get rid of yk so it'll become you know all squares so we can separate out a 12yk plus 6k squared from it because yeah that over the denominator is 6 so yeah, we can split that here. Scratch continuation. Boom. So we can split that up. It'll become 
8y squared plus k squared over 2yk plus k squared plus 12yk plus k squared I meant 6k squared all over 2yk plus k squared there so now this thing is just equal to 6 so we are looking for minimum right yeah so the minimum value of this is just finding the minimum value of this part because this thing's already fixed so here's where I like to here's this is where I use a trick called undetermined coefficients so yeah so we have 8 8 y squared plus k squared over 2 y k plus k squared why does something look off? Wait, did I forget something? No, I didn't forget anything. Why does this look different from what I got? But yeah, so assuming I did it, right? So let this be greater than or equal to t, where t is a positive real because y and k are both positive, t has to be positive. So yeah, we want to find the value of t such that this inequality is true and we can have the equality case of AMGM because like here's the reason why we need to have equality case for example I could say find the minimum value of x plus 2 you could say this is greater than or equal to negative 1 it's not wrong right this inequality is not wrong but that does not make negative 1 the minimum value of it we need to have equality can equality hold here? no but if we write x squared plus 2 greater than or equal to 2 yes this is still correct but equality can hold now, hence this must be minimum. When you're solving a minimum or maximum problem, there's always two parts, two parts to it. You have to show one, the proof that it is, ma the proof of maximality or minimality, the proof that your answer cannot be improved upon. And number two, that equality can be achieved that there's an equality case. That's why we must have the equality case of AMGM. Remember here? Equality case is A equals B. Take note of that. We'll use that later. Or, wait, no. I mean, yeah, basta. Yeah, basta. Equality must be achievable. So here. So, 8y squared. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is correct. I remember. Yeah, this is correct. Greater than or equal to. So, yeah. We'll get this thing, plus tk squared. Now, AMGM, right? We have the two square terms on the left, then the product thing on the right. We want to make it look the same. You'll, you'll see where this is going in a bit. So it'll become 8y squared plus 1 minus t quantity k squared greater than or equal to 2tyk. Boom. Now this looks very much like AMGM now, right? Except that we have coefficients. We just added some coefficients there. Now, when you apply AMGM, oh, I didn't get to box the T. The T is part of the coefficient there. Okay, so now if we AMGM the left hand side, we'll get that the left hand side is greater than or equal to 2 times the square root of their product, which is 8 times 1 minus T y squared k squared. Okay, my left hand's tired from holding my iPad. Okay, wait. There. So yeah, left hand side is greater than or equal to that. So that's equal to 2 square root of 8 times 1, 1 minus t times yk. Now we want these two to be the same thing. Yes, so that it will be like equality can be attained if these two are the same. Like, if you get what I mean. So yeah, so for these two to be the same, that gives us the equation t equals square root of 8 times 1 minus t t squared equals a times 1 minus t oh gosh right yeah I remember that it has a square root t squared this is minus 80 t squared plus 8t minus 8 equals 0 so you get that t is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac yeah this looks like what I got last time all over 2a Goes to negative 4 plus minus. Okay, so we have square root of 96 over 2. You can factor out the 4 to cancel out the 2. Square root of 24. 
square root of 24 can further be simplified, factoring out another 4, to square root of 6. This is just your usual quadratic equation stuff. So you get this. But then remember, we want t to be positive, right? Positive. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now we get... So we have to take the positive root of these. So we'll get 2 square root of 6 minus 4, the bigger one. Okay, scratch continuation. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Okay, so now we get that 8y squared plus 1 minus, 1 minus t is, yeah. Oh yeah, and then here, note that all the coefficients have to be positive. But then, you can check that this thing, it's smaller than 1. Square root of 6 is like 2, well, because 6.00. That's between like 2.4 and 2.5 squared. So this is like between 4.8 and 5. Yeah, this is less than 5. This is less than 1. So this is still positive. Coefficient's positive. Everything's working. Because AMGM, remember, everything has to be positive. Although, just to be safer. But in this specific case, no. But yeah, AMGM, the general one, it has to be all positive. So yeah, everything's positive. Everything's working out fine. So yeah. So we'll get that t works here. And so now we get 8y squared plus 1 minus t. 1 minus t is now 2 square root of 6 minus... Balik that. It's now 5 minus 2 square root of 6. Yes. k squared greater than or equal to... And then 2t is 4 square root of 6 minus 8 times quantity yk. Yes. This works. This is your a and gm now. So you get that this thing is true, and then note that you can just reverse all of the steps to go back here. All the steps are reversible. So now that becomes 8y squared plus k squared all over 2yk plus k squared greater than or equal to your t, which is 2 squared of 6 minus 4. Boom. Now we have our bound. And then we know equality can be attained by simply letting 8y squared is equal to 5 minus 2 squared of 6 k squared. This is really ugly, but we know that it's possible. We can just let y equals 1, k becomes ugly square root garb, yes. But we know it can be attained, so we have this thing, right? So we know that this is now greater than or equal to 2 square root of 6 minus 4, and then plus your constant 6. And that gives us the answer, yeah, 2 plus 2 square root of 6. Boom. And then ver and then yes. That is the answer they give here. I'm trying not to spoil other problems back then. 2 square root of 6 plus 2. And that is how you solve PMO qual... And that is, well, not exactly how you should solve, but that's how I solve PMO qualifying number 30. It's a way you can solve it. Yes, I'm not saying it's the only way. I've seen other people do other ways. For example, I've heard that some people, like, manage to split this into the form a times x plus y over x. I heard some people that did like this. They split it into this form. Boom, where a, b, and c are constants. Which is really clever because the condition x greater than y keeps the fractions positive. And then you just have to a, m, g, m this part. Yeah. So yeah, that's another way I saw some people do it. And yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching.